Hey guys, make sure to stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, you may spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars on repairs, parts, diagnostics that you don't need. Make sure to stand to the end. We will explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Silverado degeneration here from year 2000 and uh, 6 to year 2013. If you have one of those, if you have a problem where brake lights do not work, also known as stop lights do not work, stay with us. We'll explain which fuses relays you need to check, what else can easily cause it. That way, you do not waste money on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Also, we'll explain where you can buy cheap parts, tools. Fuses relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time and why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have a Chevy Silverado, that generation, that's the second generation from year 2006 to year 2013, we'll be making a video about every single fuse relay. Why? Because if you're in the middle of nowhere, you're down the road, you need to find a fuse for fuel pump, ignition, immobilizer, parktronic, anything like that. All we have to do, watch that video, spend less than a minute or two, find it, fix your problem, you're back on the road. Because most people will lose their manuals or it will not be clearly specified in the manuals. Some fuses have multiple functions. So we'll be having more than probably 150 to 200 free repair videos on that. We guys make video constantly here at the garage. We take things apart, engines, transmissions, bodywork, a little bit of everything. And we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs please check it out in addition guys if you need to buy any parts tools special fuses anything like that at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time we'll share the links in the description of the video below so let's start on it now so now guys okay what we have here specifically we have that generation chevy silverado right here that will demonstrate why brake lights do not work you have multiple fuse boxes guys in that truck and today we're working two of them the first one is on the driver's side you need to go ahead and open the door once you do that here we have a cover on the side of the dash pull that cover out and behind it you'll find the fuse box with a layout that will look just like this one here before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen, guys, at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well, guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So, the brake lights guys, there will be multiple fuses that we need to check here. Here things get a little bit uh, interesting, how they actually position these fuses, they're a little bit different guys, but they go like that, one, two, three, then you go uh, to after that to fuse number four, five. Fuse number five is the first one that we will need to check, okay, right here, fuse number five, then we need to go to six seven eight fuse number eight we will need to be checked as well okay fuse number eight then you have nine ten eleven twelve fuse number twelve so you have fuse number guys five eight and twelve then we need to uh, go ahead okay and open the hood right here once we do that on the right side you have a fuse box under this cover Let's go ahead guys, open that fuse box now and once you do that you'll find that fuse box layout just like this one here. So here guys for the brake lights we have um, two more fuses that we need to check. By the way if you need to buy any fuses, relays, parts, tools at a good price quick shipping we will put the link in the description of the video below that way you do not waste your money and time. The fuse that we need to check first one is known as fuse number one. We're talking about this fuse right here that's fuse number one. Then you will need to check one more fuse and that's known as fuse number 49 guys. 
49 will be in this row right here we are talking about this fuse that you need to check right there now uh, something else that can cause brake lights on to work could be a bad brake light switch we have video on the channel that explains how to test brake light switch hopefully the video will be helpful and see you guys next time